This gadget not only reveals who has the quickest reflexes, it also turns distraction and stress into focus and fun. And I let you decide if this gadget turns out to be a must have or if it's the most useless one ever. But whatever the outcome, I've got not one, not two, but five of them ready to give away. But more on that in a minute, because today I'll show you what it took to get from this concept drawing to a fully functioning prototype. And because this gadget has more than one awesome features, let's just start with the most important one, launching the stress ball. So first things first, we need some stress balls. And while we wait for them to be delivered, let's figure out how we are going to launch those balls. And I immediately thought of these, because surely one of these can launch a stress ball, right? To test that, we'll need to put together a few extra parts. Ah, the stress balls, right on time. But before we do a test shot, let's measure out the ideal trajectory. Okay, so if we can launch the ball from here to somewhere around here, we should be good. Here we go. First attempt in 3, 2, 1. Well, <laughs> that's disappointing. But I think I know what the problem is. And before I tell you what I think it is, let's do a quick test with a harder ball. Yeah, exactly what I thought. Because the stress ball is flexible, the forces from the hammer are absorbed instead of being converted into forward motion. Now, one of the things we can do to fix this is to ensure that the hammer is in direct contact with the ball so it doesn't have a chance to get up to speed before hitting it. Another thing we can do is increase the surface area that's in contact with the ball. So this should work much better. 3, 2, 1, yeah, that's more like it. The ball just needs to shoot more upwards instead of forwards like this. Because no one will be quick enough to catch the ball like this. And just when I wanted to start changing the design, I thought, but what if I just tilt the entire base? The effect should be the same, and it saves me a few hours redesigning as well. 3, 2, 1. Well, not quite what I was expecting. What if we use two springs instead of one? Three, two, one. Wait, what? Was that spot on? Yep, spot on. So, design a launch mechanism, check. But we still need to make the cocking of the hammer and launching automatic. And for that, we'll use this small gear DC motor. But let's see if the motor is strong enough. Here we go. Oh, it's more than strong enough. The only problem now is that the motor keeps going because it doesn't know when the hammer is cocked. And we could use a micro switch or an infrared sensor to fix this, but they either have tight switching tolerances or take up quite a lot of space in a tiny gadget like this. Instead I decided to use a Hall effect sensor. This is a tiny sensor that can measure changes in magnetic field. So all we need to do is add a little magnet to the hammer and glue the sensor in place. In the meantime, I wired up the rest and uploaded some test code to the Arduino. So if I press this switch, the hammer should release and the motor should stop when the hammer is cocked again. Perfect. But by now you're probably wondering what's fun about the stress ball that's launched into the air. And that's a fair point, because without some kind of a game element, absolutely nothing. Luckily, we can quite simply turn this gadget into a game by adding a mini infrared sensor which can detect if the ball is on the base or not and a small segment display. Because the goal of this game is to keep you focused by testing your reaction time and speed. And it does this by launching the ball at random intervals 
starting a timer as soon as the ball is airborne and stopping when you place it back on the base. So the lower your score, the better your reaction speed. Now you can finally prove who has the fastest reaction time and the quickest reflexes. At least if the game is fair. Because what if your ball is launched four times and the ball of the other person only launched two times? Then you naturally have the worst score. That not only makes this game unfair, but it would also make this gadget completely unusable. Oh right, the PCBs I ordered from PCBWay.com to truly complete this project. And the best part is, anyone can do this, including you. So don't wait any longer. Turn your project into a professional build today with PCBWay.com. Just look at this. So much better, right? But anyway, where were we? Oh right, the unfair score count. To fix that, I changed the display total time to the average time per launch. And what also can't be missed of course, is a way to pause the game. But luckily I only had to add a few extra lines of code for that. Now that those adjustments are done, what's it going to be? The most useless gadget ever? Or you kinda want one, even if it's just for fun? Because it's possible, remember? I've got five of them ready to give away. And such a rare limited edition gadget of course comes with its own certificate of authenticity. But there's still one thing missing as you can see, because I have no idea what to call this gadget. So I was hoping you can come up with a name. And for a chance to win, all you have to do is give the correct answer to the following question. How many stress balls can you count in this video? And I'll give you a small tip, they all count even the ones you have doubts about. But that's all I'm going to say because I'm already making it way too easy. Leave your answer in the comments and I'll announce the winners in the next video.